Being an introvert is not a hindrance to success. In fact, it's a unique advantage waiting to be unlocked. In a world that seemingly celebrates the loudest voices and boldest actions, introverts often find comfort in solitude, where our creativity thrives and thoughts can roam freely. Success for introverts isn't about conforming to extroverted ideals. It's about understanding and leveraging our natural strengths. It's about finding our own path, one that aligns with our authentic selves. Success as an introvert means embracing our introspective nature, nurturing our creativity, and finding balance between solitude and social interaction. It's about owning our strengths and using them to carve out our own path in this world. And while I agree with everything that I just said, I have to admit, I just I essentially had ChatGPT write it for me, but I feel like a complete fraud, at least not disclosing it. So to put it in my own words, success as an introvert to me means embracing who you truly are, owning the fact that you may not be the stereotypical alpha that everyone aspires to be, but still having the confidence to be true to who you really are. From my experience, success as an introvert can only be derived from within. You're less motivated by external validation and find true joy by staying in your own lane. You feel little to no pressure to conform with any societal norms with the understanding that you just don't operate the same. And for me, that's the ultimate feeling of freedom. Before we go on in today's video, I want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, which is Original Grain. If you can see this awesome watch on my wrist, this is their Whiskey Espresso 40 millimeter. Extremely sleek. What I love about it is you can dress it up, dress it down. It looks really expensive, but it's very affordable, especially when you go to OriginalGrain.com slash Travis. Use code Travis. Right now, they're offering up to $100 off their watches, and then my code will save you an additional 10%. But this watch in particular is actually made of reclaimed Kentucky bourbon barrels, which is super cool. I know a lot of you dads out there love bourbon, so a watch like this would really align with your interest. Or if you're someone like me and just likes to wear nice looking watches, this is a perfect option as well. Father's Day is coming up. You're all scrambling, looking for things to either buy for a dad or tell your significant other something that you want so this is going to be something within everyone's budget and something that you can wear on a daily basis so head over to originalgrain.com slash travis they're offering up to 100 dollars off their watches and then use code travis to save that additional 10 percent off and you guys are going to love it by the time i get to the end of the day i am just shot there is nothing left my tanks on e there's nothing more I can give usually. And I usually just have to sit in a dark, quiet room and just zone out, think, or work on something that helps fill my cup, which usually involves silence. Um, and Megan, uh, unfortunately, sometimes gets that side of me. Uh, she's an introvert as well, so it's, it's, we can relate with one another. But I'm reading this book right now called The Power of Full Engagement. And it talks a lot about being able to give consistent, positive energy. And I think it's one of the most important things you can do throughout your career, throughout your personal life, being able to be that source of light for other people. So for introverts, you got to really take care of yourself because you know this feeling when you get to the end of the day and it's like, there's nothing I can do for anyone else. I can barely do anything for myself. So it's just something to be conscious of and you just have to find those things that get you to that point or allow yourself the grace to just get to the end of the day and, and turn it off. There's got to be that recharge moment. If not, you know, you're not going to be a, a resource for anybody. And I guess if I could leave you guys with a recommendation, it would be to get comfortable being misunderstood. I have no doubt that people really think it's odd that I am a homebody through and through. I do not like to leave my house. I don't go out on the weekends. I use all weekend to spend time with my family, which is what recharges me. And I don't stay out late. I just recuperate from the week. And most people just can't wrap their head around that. Same with me, like when I hear about people that spend their free time playing video games, I'm just like, that is so wild to me, but it doesn't matter, right? We all have 
are things that bring us back to our baseline, that get us ready to, um, to be at our best. And that's okay. I don't think anyone actually cares what I do. And I actually, on the flip side, I think a lot of people respect me for being so set in my own ways and so confident to not worry about what anybody else thinks about how I live. And same with other people that I see. I respect the people that just own the way that they are. And the funny part is, the more comfortable you get with being yourself, the more other people will be comfortable with you being you as well. Here's the last thing I will say. I know a lot of times we view being an introvert as a bad thing or maybe a disadvantage. And surely sometimes there are disadvantages to being more introverted. But in a lot of scenarios, it's almost like a superpower. I mean, the ability to listen and genuinely internalize what other people are telling you we don't realize sometimes that that's hard for a lot of different personalities to do. I'm sure you've all been in those conversations with a lot of uh, a lot of excited, loud people, and you're probably thinking like, are they even listening to each other because they're just saying things back and forth but not building on what the last person said or if they said something, it's kind of like they disregarded it. Because, you know, as introverts, we're not worried about getting the last word or being the center of attention. And, and that has many, many advantages. In addition to kind of like the, I don't know if mystique is the right word, but because we don't necessarily put everything out there that we're thinking, then a lot of people are kind of interested and intrigued with, with what's behind the curtain a little bit. So whatever personality type you are, we need you in this world. We need extroverts, we need introverts, we need everybody. But just don't discount yourself uh, because you know you, you always think the grass is greener and you always want what you don't have. But whatever stage you're at or, or whoever you are naturally as a person, embrace it and and use the strengths that you have and any uh, any blind spots. You know you can always work on those. Just be conscious of of what's going on. But anyway. Guys, I told you I'm exhausted. I need to go to sleep, recharge, and I just appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you like it, give it a like, and I look forward to talking to y'all next week.